So this device houses several different uh, cleaning tools that you can use to clean a hearing aid and ear mold. Um, so if we lift up the silver flap, we can see we've got some different options here. Um, so we'll take a look at the first tool, which is a small brush. And the brush is very helpful in cleaning the microphones of a hearing aid. So the microphones are going to be on the spine of the hearing aid. Um, there will be some little holes and sometimes they're above, around, or below a button that may be on the back of the hearing aid. And I'm just gonna take that brush and just gently brush where those holes are. Um, and I don't wanna stab the bristles down in there, uh, but just gently brush across them to get any debris out of the microphone ports. Um, next I have a uh, wire loop. So the wire loop is used to clean out an ear mold or earpiece. Um, so in a traditional ear mold, uh, which most children wear, um, at least young children, there's going to be a hole here where the sound comes out of the ear mold. And I want to use that wire loop to get any bits of earwax or other ear debris uh, out of that tubing so that it's not clogging it up. Next, we have a vent cleaner. Um, so there may be an additional um, hole down below the main um, hole where the sound comes out of the earpiece. And what I can do is insert um, that uh, probe inside that vent and get any bits of earwax out of that hole. Next, we have kind of a pick that can be used. Again, um, if there is a small vent um, or just a piece you can't get with the wire loop, a piece of earwax, um, then I can go in with that pick. But probably best not to use that to start poking in any microphones. And last, we have a uh, magnet. And this can be used to remove a battery from the battery door. Um, so if I open up the battery door, I can use that to get a hold of the battery and take it out. I can also use it to help put the battery back into the battery door. Um, so that can really help save the day when you're trying to get a hold of those slippery little batteries. So you've got all these tools in one container here.